Let me get into Anthem again. Uh, on this number two, it's called Single and Double Bass Drum Pattern. So these were nicknamed in England. A guy nicknamed them Falling Rocks. And uh, they're exactly what I was talking about in the solo, where you go. Right? And to develop them, I use a style that's on the paper here, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, the first one would be one and two bass drums, or if you play a single bass drum, it would be a single, right? Then two, then three, four, five, and six. Okay, so you basically sit down and actually just practice them one after another. A good way I found that if you come in and you just write, take the initials A, B, C, D, E, F, and you come in and you don't even look at the paper and you just say, I'm going to do uh, B, D, and F. I'm going to do uh, C, A, B. I'm going to do B, A, D. <laughs> you know? I'm going to do, you know, any of these initials, you know? And then you sit down and you play them and see what they sound like. Now, one that I like is the even ones, which are which is the B, D, and the F, right? So you take two, four, and six, so you get four, and six. All right, and then you put them all over the drums, and you go like, Go fast or slow, whatever you want to do with them. And they work great with songs, okay? Let's take two different feels. Uh, first feel will be. That's one feel. They also work great in an up-tempo boogie. Okay, so they use for a lot of things, and they're very powerful. That's what I like about them, and. Uh, now, originally they were based off this thing. You should be able to do them with one bass drum too. You don't want to get stuck doing everything with two bass drums when you try and do it with one. You can't do it anymore. You know, it's a bad habit people get into. So these we call the falling rocks. And uh, they definitely work. They definitely work.